Here I'm going to show you how to update the default site image that appears in the upper left-hand corner of your SharePoint 2010 site, and also the default image that shows up on your home page. We're going to change those to the images that we created earlier using paint.net. But first of all, I need to upload those images to a library on my SharePoint site, so I'm going to click All Site Content. I'm going to put them in my Site Assets library. And I'm going to go up here, click on Documents, and I want to upload multiple documents because I've got two documents. Now, I've got the images already selected here that I want to, to use, so I will just, and they're highlighted, I'll drag them over. And then I will click OK, and it will upload those. It's finished. Click Done. Now my images show up here. So what I want to do is for the site logo, I want to get the URL of that. I want to figure out what the URL is. So clicking on it will open it up in your browser. And then I can come here and I can take everything after the .com. I can take the relative URL, highlight, right click and copy. We want to use that URL later. So I'll click back in my web browser click the browse button and then click on my my home link here to take me back to the home page and click site actions site settings and then I'm going to click on under look and feel I'm going to click on title description and icon down here in the URL field I'm going to replace what's there and I am going to right click and paste and then I always want to click the, the link underneath here, click here to test, just to make sure that opens up a window and if you see your image there then you're okay. If not, uh, something is broken. A lot of times you might get that if you forget to put the, the opening forward slash in there, you'll get an error. So if it tests okay, click okay and now I see my new image. Now I want to replace the home page image that comes by default with your SharePoint site the image of the people here in the corner. That's that's not exactly what I want to show there. So I'm going to click on Site Actions, Edit Page, and we'll click on our link here again, our image, click Design, and now I can paste that relative URL into the box. I could change the alt text if I want. And you'll notice it looks a little distorted. That's not exactly what it should look like. We want to change that. Our original dimensions were 300 by 300. So if I change that here, if I change this to 300 and click out of that, well, it's still distorted. That's because the aspect ratio is locked. And so it's using the rectangular dimensions that the other image was using. That's, that's OK, no problem. Just uncheck that and then it'll let me type in 300 for the height. Click away from that there and that looks much better. That's the square image that we were that we were working with. So if I'm satisfied that looks okay, I click Save and we're done.